Hi there. I'm really excited about this next project because a lot of people have reached out to me about wanting to learn more about the higher levels of chemistry that I talk about my channel, but don't know where to look for that information. So I decided to make a beginner's guide to understanding chemistry. Throughout this series, we'll slowly build up our knowledge to the point where we can understand these really high levels of chemistry that I talk about a lot on this channel. So if you do have a background in general or organic chemistry, these videos are not for you. But if you have a very foundational knowledge and want to learn about chemistry, these videos are for you. There will probably be 30 or so videos in this series teaching you about the fundamentals of general and organic chemistry. And there will be some homework problems. Uh, this should be treated kind of like a real class. And you should be willing to sit down and learn if you so feel the desire to. With that being said, good luck. In most general science courses, the first bit of it can be a little bit monotonous as we have to talk about definitions of things. But in order to understand science, you have to understand the language of science. And let's go over some definitions. Matter, elements, and the periodic table. So matter is simply anything that has mass and occupies space. Like I have a pen right here. This pen it consists of matter. It occupies space and it has mass. The table that I'm sitting at to record these videos, the computer I'm using, anything you can touch or feel, basically. Element. An element is the most basic unit of matter, unable to be broken down into smaller units through chemical means. In simple, these are things found on the periodic table. Probably have a more in-depth video about the periodic table, but this is the periodic table. It consists of all of the known elements that exist here on the planet Earth. Fun fact, 90% of our bodies are made up of just three elements, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. And more definitions, our next definition is that of atoms. Atoms are the infinitesimally small building blocks of matter. For right now, this is a hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atoms are really, really small, much like any other atom. To get a good sense of how small atoms are, I highly encourage you to go to the scale of the universe. I'll leave a link for it in the description of the video. It will blow your mind in terms of how small atoms really are. This is a bar of gold. So this bar of gold is made up of trillions and zillions of gold atoms. The next definition we get to is that of molecules. Molecules are substances made up of two or more atoms joined together. We have two types. The first type is a homonuclear molecule. This consists of two or more atoms of the same element bonded together. The second type is a compound, which consists of two or more atoms of different elements bonded together. Let's look at the following uh, examples of this. This is oxygen, the type that you breathe in. Oxygen exists as a diatomic molecule in the air, um, joined together by these things called bonds, which we'll talk about later. So because we have two of them, we could write it in this way, O2. This is called the molecular formula. And this is, of course, a homonuclear molecule because it is two or more atoms of the same type bound together. This is our good old dear friend carbon dioxide. You've probably heard of this as being the main greenhouse gas. But fun fact, we actually, when we breathe in oxygen, one of the products that we breathe out is carbon dioxide. This has the molecular formula CO2. We see one carbon in the middle attached to two oxygens. So CO2 would be its molecular formula. And it is a compound because it consists of two or more atoms of different elements bound, bound together. This is the compound methanol. The molecular form, formula for it is CH4O. We see one carbon in gray bonded to one, two, three, four hydrogens in white and one oxygen. This is the molecular formula. 
and it is a compound. It has more than two or more atoms of different elements bonded together. And the last one is our good dear old friend, water. Water has the molecular formula, H2O. It has these two hydrogens in white and one oxygen in the red in the middle. And it is of course a compound, being that it consists of two or more atoms of different elements bound together. And when I told you there would be homework, I didn't lie. I encourage you to keep up with the homework because the concepts will only become more complicated as we progress in learning chemistry. For each of the molecules, write out its molecular formula and state whether it is a homonuclear molecule or a compound. This first one is aspirin. In this second one, these orange atoms are phosphorus atoms, chemical symbol P. In this third one, these fluorescent green compounds that remind me of a highlighter are sulfur atoms. And you'll do the same thing for this last one. Till then, I hope you're enjoying the pursuit of knowledge.